Okay, and we have part two. I had an interruption there, but I was talking about money. So let's get right back into it. Let's just say the American dollar collapsed, and many people believe that it will collapse. And now the American dollar isn't worth anything. If we look at the news, we see China, Russia, and different countries buying up silver, gold, or whatever. They're going to be using a different standard. But if the American dollar goes to zero and it goes to, you know, uh, nothing, then what's going to happen is that a new currency has to come about. Now, we may not, we may lo no longer be the world reserve currency, which is why it's lasted so long, because all fiat money has gone to zero historically. Look it up. All fiat money has gone to zero historically. But once that happens, okay, then they have to come up with a different currency. Okay, even if we're not the world reserve currency, you got to come up with a different currency, maybe digital, maybe not. But let's just assume it's another paper currency. That means all the dollars you have in the bank, should it collapse all of a sudden, it's worth nothing. Okay? And obviously we can get into the panic and mass hysteria and all that. Okay, but I'm, I'm getting past that. Then when a new currency comes up, and let's say it is backed by, um, uh, now it goes back on a gold standard. If you have gold, when the new currency comes into effect, you can immediately change your goal for the new currency. See, if you have a lot of the greenbacks in the bank now, then you have to get a job and start working and get a paycheck for the new currency. But for those who have been stacking when the new currency comes come about, and in the meantime, you can barter with your silver and your gold, uh, for goods and services uh, in the meantime. But then when the new currency comes about, you can just exchange your gold and silver for the new currency. See the transfer of wealth? Now, you might have someone, they have my six figures in the bank of greenbacks, six figures, million dollars, whatever. And if they don't have other assets, you know, um, you know, precious metal, real estate, so on and so forth. If they don't have other assets that have an intrinsic value, then they will crash, they will crumble, they will fall. Now, they had millions and millions of the greenbacks in the bank that went to zero, but they don't have any other assets. They don't have precious metals or real estate or anything like that. They don't have that. So their wealth has went to the floor. But those who have invested in the precious metals, when the new currency comes about, they exchange, and now you have an exchange of wealth. So... I just wanted to put that out there and give you guys kind of an idea. And it's just a really brief history. I mean, it's it's a it's a long history when it comes to money because you can go from country to country. You can look at different world reserve currencies and stuff like that. I mean, obviously, the, our money right now is the petrodollar. Um, there's a lot of, a lot of different variables um, in there, but that gives you just an idea as to why people uh, stack precious metals because they have a, an intrinsic value. I mean, we, silver is in all the technology around us is a ton of silver, so it's used, you know, as an um, industrial metal. And, you know, sometimes you get people that say, oh, well, you know, you can't eat silver, you can't eat gold, stuff like that. I mean, okay, but no one's stacking it to eat. Um, no one's stacking it to eat. So those who grow, go in a community, they, what, build homes, build gardens, get assets, you know, stuff like that. Um, it's used for bartering and trade. Um, so that's the purpose of it. It's not, no one's, I don't know anyone who's stacking precious metal to eat it. And I didn't prioritize it either. I didn't say, and what I mean is that I didn't put it in a priority order. I don't know what order that's going to be to you. You make your own priority list. You figure out how important precious metals are to you that's that's a personal decision and um you know i didn't you know i'm not making that decision for you uh or if it's even part of the plan we don't know we'll see but anyway until the meantime it's israelite prayer for shalom